questions and I'm just searching for some answers. Like, what are we doing here? And what is our purpose? How did we get here? And who made us so perfect? And what happens once we go? Or is this world all really worth it? Baby, you know Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So, right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. You're the realest MVP. I mean, like, you're just the realest MVP, man. If you wanna get the notification, like, whenever we post our videos, just make sure to go down and Click that bell just next to the subscribe, uh, subscription button and you're gonna get all our videos whenever we post them. Like you get the notification whenever we just post them. What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at the time you're trying to buy. So right about now, we actually want to, you know, do a reaction that was suggested by a lot of people. This one actually, so many people suggested this one, yes? Yeah, and we've had many things to do, so we thought, why not just do this reaction at least today? Yeah, I don't know why everybody suggested into this reaction, but probably we're gonna it's figure. A good one. Yeah, maybe we're gonna figure out why it's a good one. So, and I want you guys. Have you watched it? I've not watched it yet. So I want you guys to react with us, and yeah, this will free to just you know uh, get. Just feel free to react with us. I mean, yeah. So without any further ado, today we're gonna react to the meaning of life, Muslim spoken word. So yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see. What are we doing here? And where are we gonna go? It's like we just woke up one morning and then it's welcome to the show. Don't ask any questions, just go with the flow. Make as much money as you can and try your best not to get broke. Copy everything you see on the TV from the hairstyles to the clothes and don't think too often, just do exactly as you're told. And if you ever get confused, then just turn towards the alcohol. You still hear your thoughts? Then just turn up the radio as you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex, and rock and roll. But in all honesty, I just need to know is there more to the cycle than growing and getting old? Living and dying just to leave behind a happy home and a whole lot of property that somebody else is going to own. I just really need to know before the casket's closed Cause I'm not willing to gamble with my soul Nor am I ready to take any chances These are just simple life questions And I'm just searching for some answers Like what are we doing here? And what is our purpose? How did we get here? And who made us so perfect? And what happens once we go? Or is this world all really worth it? questions we don't answer because apparently we don't really have to there's no purpose to this life and our existence is merely natural then in that case please let me ask you did you create yourself or was it somebody else who had fashioned you because you're a being that's impeccable faultless and unparalleled you're a product of supreme intelligence and i'm merely being rational for there isn't a camera on this earth that can come close to the human eye Nor a computer that can compete alongside the human mind And if the whole world was to come together we wouldn't be able to create a single fly So many signs yet we still deny A science tries to justify that all this could come from none When it's a simple sum, zero plus zero plus zero cannot possibly ever give you one so from where did all this order come? For everything has its origins, a maker, a creator of its own. I mean, the only reason you're watching this video is because somebody had to press upload. So we can believe in the Big Bang, but I'd rather believe in he who caused it to explode. Allah, the creator of everything along with every single soul. The ever living, the master, the only one who is in control Unlike his creation, beyond our imagination And no, he's not a man nor does he have any partners in association He's on his own And no, he did not ever leave us alone
Just like every manufacturer, he left us with an instruction manual. The Quran and Islam, and I'm sorry to jump to conclusions, but it's the only one possible. The only definition of God is the one and only supreme being. It's logical. A book with zero contradictions, with miracles that are both scientific and historical. All revealed over 1400 years ago. Like the detailed description of the human embryo. The descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th century. To the mountains as pegs holding firm the earth below. And the two seas that don't mix in a complete separate flow. To the planets in orbit alternating night and day as they stay in flow. The expansion of the universe and the creation of everything from H2O. To the stories of the past and the preservation of Pharaoh. To identifying the lowest point in the land where Persia defeated Rome. The gushing fluid that created man in the glands between the ribs and the backbone. And not a word has changed, it's still the same. So please explain how all this was known over 1400 years ago. To a man who couldn't read or write as he would recite whatever the angels spoke. And if you still don't believe, please try to come up with something that's even close. But you can't, so we took God as a mockery and his messengers as a joke. Muhammad could not read or write. How's somebody who can't read or write gonna start a religion? Dismiss the scriptures as legends and tales of the ancient folk As we live life according to our whims, desires and hopes Saying this life is the only home we will ever know We will live then die then simply turn to bones Yo, lo, correction After the grass dies the rain arrives and it regrows And Allah promises to do the same thing to your very soul and bring you back from your very fingertips to your toes as the all-seeing supreme being watches us so close and we are surely being tested in our wealth, our health and our self and everything that we've been blessed with so believe for we will surely be resurrected and be brought back to our Lord in account for every single deed as he hands us our books and orders us to read from the bad to the good and everything in between. You yourself are sufficient for your own accountability. So don't be mad at me. You are the one who thought he wouldn't come back to me. I gave you a whole life long to search after me. But you were busy in all that which was temporary. So read. And glad tidings to all those who believed. And if you disbelieve, read. And don't let that day be the first day you find out what your life really means. Read. You finished? So what do you think? Um, man, I mean, it's, it's pretty deep, man. Like. First of all, let me just, let me give a shout out to the guy who was narrating the whole thing. That was really amazing, like the spoken word thing, like just the rhyming, word, like the rhyming of the words and stuff like that, how he articulated all things together, that was really amazing. But now, let's get into the deeper stuff. I mean, the, the whole thing about the meaning of life, sometimes I feel like we, we're just being tested, we get it, like, <laughs> The creator, I mean, the one who brought us into this world is testing us. I mean, if you if you do good, probably you'll ascend to a better realm. If you do, if you actually uh, not do uh, probably good, or maybe you're not righteous in this world, probably you're gonna come back here until you learn your lessons. I don't know. Probably that's how it is. You get it. Some say you go to heaven. Some say you go to hell. I mean. If you do good, probably go to heaven. If you do bad, you come back to, to hell. I don't know. If, I don't know about that, but but my, my belief myself, I feel like 
you, we are here to be tested. Like when you do the righteousness, if you, if, you, if you do the better things, you're gonna go to another realm whereby probably everything is just at a, a what, like at peace, you get it? I, I feel that, I feel that. But, but again, I mean, the whole thing that we are doing right now, we are looking for this money and stuff like that. When you die, I mean, you're not gonna go with the money anywhere else. I mean, you just... I mean, others get buried with it. Yeah, other people get buried with the money, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna go with your money. People are gonna come up and dig up the grave and take <laughs> the money. Of course, that's what they're gonna do. I mean, it's... Sometimes you look at these old things that you're doing in life, they're useless. Until... I mean, they're useless. I mean, you know, when you die, it's, it's, it's actually useless. You get it. At the moment, it might be useful for you, but when you die, you're not going to go with anything anyway. But you never know. Probably you'll go with the things. <laughs> but that was the That was it. What do you think? I don't know what to think. What do you I'm only saying I don't know because I like the fact that he said read. Yeah, read. That's the most important. Reading is also a form of education. We yeah. discover things. Yeah. You read it, maybe you may discover your purpose on life. Yeah, of course, so of course, of course. There's a lot that you can discover from reading. There's, you know, there's a lot that have not been unveiled because... All these questions he asked, he still said read. Yeah, exactly. Even, even after... Even, even the statements he made, like facts. Mm -hmm. Facts, I mean, you call them. He still said read. I like the fact that he wasn't really trying to make you believe what he's trying to say, but again, he's trying to make you uh, go out there and read more to find out. Mm -hmm. You get it? Just go out and investigate for yourself. Just find out for yourself, like, what's the meaning of life. I mean, at this day and age, people don't like reading books. And trust me, books, books are the truth. Like. These books that you see around there, these are the books that they're gonna give you a glimpse of what life they is. Give you they give you knowledge. Another important thing too, not only books, also when you actually decide to in, get in tune with nature, I mean nature is another source whereby you can actually understand the meaning of life because when you go out there, you really understand that it's really peaceful, you get it? I mean you 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 detach yourself from the matrix and you go to a place whereby it's just like pure bliss. I mean, it's just amazing. You get it. Those are two things that I actually said. But anyway, this was a really nice piece. I really love it. What do you think? You loved it? Do you believe that we are here to be tested? No, why? You think we are not tested over here? Like, by who? For what reason? Do you, do you I believe that you are slave? You are slave on this earth. No. Oh, but but you work from nine to five. So you are slave to your master. Doesn't matter. Stop confusing. <laughs> what I'm saying is confusing. Mm. I just like the general statements he made. The questions at the beginning. Yeah. In the beginning. Then he used I guess religion to explain things. Mm. I guess that's what worked for him, like the other guy who reacted to what was his name? Oh, Dr. Something? Uh, was it Dr. Something? Who was talking about what exactly? The one that just changed, changed religion. Ah, Ruben, Ruben. Yeah, it's like yeah. he also finds Peace. reason. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Reason to get into, you not know, to be with Islam or something. Mm -hmm. Because it. he was making some good points. Yeah. Like most people sure. tend to be. Yeah, true. Most people tend to what? There's a lot of things that he mentioned. Yeah, he mentioned from he from His different types of religion. Lifestyle. Yeah. But he didn't have to do drink like that. <laughs> he didn't see him drink. <laughs> but I mean, this life is just it's just I mean it's it's, it's just like I feel like someone controlling us. It's, it's a stage, it's a stage and someone is directing us. You think so? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like it's it's more of a directional type of thing. Like we are here. And it's a stage, and you are the player. Anyway, you are the actor. Uh, the other point I liked is when he spoke about there is nothing stronger than the eye, nothing that is better than the of eye. Course, of, of 
and nothing that thinks better than, better your, brain. than your brain yeah that like no computer can beat the brain and no other cameras out there can beat the eye i mean that, that's the truth you can't compare the camera with your eye your eye is the most sophisticated thing ever your brain to the same thing how are you remembering the things that you used to do when you're small that's so magical. I mean, Although in the beginning he spoke about, um, did he say computers? No, he didn't say computers, but you can't be controlled. But then he shows like a computer thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robotic. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you, but you, then look at today's world. You can't be controlled, but you you allow yourself to be controlled. Because you know what? We can't live with phones nowadays. The phones are the ones controlling us. They wake you up in the morning. Uh, media, every day we watch news, they're controlling our emotions and stuff like that. So, I mean, We've reached to a point whereby we can't even think for ourselves, we can't reason for ourselves, we can't even do things for ourselves. Like, they're trying to come up with artificial intelligence now, whereby they can even start cooking for you, they can even start, like, you know, wiping your ass for you. I'm kidding, guys. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, so, it's, so, it's so funny, but at the same time, like, it's really dangerous. But anyway guys, I mean, this was a nice piece. Just let us know what you think about the meaning of life. What do you think? Why are we here? Why are we on earth? What's their sole purpose? I believe everybody has a purpose. What's your purpose? I don't know. I know my purpose is to serve humanity and make sure that the human... That's bright. That's serve humanity bright. and make sure that humanity yeah, have bright. peace and... That's true. <laughs> make sure humanity have peace and they should go to the right direction. I mean, I don't know. Shout out. So, anyway, shout out to... People that... Say what are you saying? Say it. Shout out to the people that requested for this reaction. Yeah. Everybody is a really sound with me. Thank you for reacting to this video. Let's get this video to like... 50 likes. 50 likes. Yeah, 50. Yeah, 50 likes. And let's get this video to 100 views. Yes, and get us to 6,000 subscribers by the end of this month. I know we have like three days. Is not done? It's done already, what almost. Is, what if we post this next month? No, we're gonna post it like we edit tonight tomorrow. Yeah, so guys, without any further ado, so if you feel like you liked this video, no better way is to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about, um, what do you call this, the spoken, uh, the spoken word here which is the meaning of life what do you think about it if you feel like we're here for a purpose or we're here we've been controlled on this earth or um uh what do you call this oh there, there's a there's an actual meaning why we're here just let us know on the comments below and we're going to be really happy if you just talk to us and let us know about what you think what's your what's your view and the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least guys we'll see you in the next video and peace out